Well, good morning and welcome to Tech Edge 2018. Um, it's quite a claim to be around before the internet was invented. I'm not sure that's strictly true. Certainly before the web was invented, that's definitely true. Um, so this is the first of what we hope is going to be an annual conference, tech conference, bringing together tech and digital people from across the region and further afield to talk about the great things that, that are happening. It's really all about how we go faster. There's constant pressure to do more, do it faster, and it's about using new tools, techniques, ways of working to achieve that. And it's part of Leeds Digital Festival, so it's a, it's a big celebration of all the dig great digital stuff happening in Leeds, um, 160 events over the next two weeks. So on that, Leeds, um, my hometown, fabulous city. Uh, I think lots of great, innovative, disruptive businesses have been formed in Leeds. So I'm thinking about companies like FreeServe, I'm thinking about companies like Ananova, Planet Online, lots of great companies over the years. I think we've, you know, there's a really great thriving scene here, you know, thousands of tech jobs being created over the last five years or so. Um, you know, a real good combination of big name B2C businesses, big leading uh, public sector bodies, uh, lots of startups, um, a thriving startup scene, getting bigger all the time, which is great, as well as all the service providers, um, the digital agencies and the educators supporting all that, all working together in Leeds, which is great. Um, a little bit about me, uh, so I've been doing this stuff for over 30 years, um, as I said before the web, at a time that my kids just could not comprehend, there was no email, in common use at least, there was no web, people didn't have mobile phones, social didn't exist, all that stuff was yet to come. Uh, and it's quite funny looking back at it, how we used to do things, I worked for some of these companies in, in this region, for last, mostly in this region anyway, for the last 30, 30 years. Um, Things certainly changed, and I then spent about 10 years working at companies like this, so ISPs, new media companies, um, telcos, uh, getting people online for the first time in many cases, and building lot, working with people building you know, products that just hadn't been seen before. Um, so a great sort of period there. And then for the last nine years, I've been CTO at Skybet and Gaming. So this is um, a business that's gone from when I joined, tiny business, to what is now the leading business in its sector. Um, huge success story for the Yorkshire region, uh, culminating, or this phase of it at least, uh, culminating at the weekend with the sale of the business to Pokestars for just under five billion quid. Five billion quid is quite a lot of money, and it's a real testament to the, you know, the people in the team here in Leeds that have built that business up over the years. So given that Sky Betting and Gaming is sponsoring this event today, I thought it'd be rude not to say a few words about Sky Betting and Gaming. So we are the most popular online betting and gaming company in the UK. Uh, we are pure online, so we don't have the distraction of retail. So throughout the business, we've got people that are very tech savvy, very digital savvy. We are mobile and have been for a long time mobile first. We're constantly embracing new technologies, new ways of working. And of course, it'd be rude not to say that we're, we're always hiring great people. <laughs> so some of the key things I think about is CTO and Sky Betting and Gaming. There's sort of four areas, and these are, these are proxies really for those. So, First and foremost, you know, availability. The product's got to work, right? It's got to be available. It's got to be fast. Um, so this is uh, between June and December last year. We achieved 99.99% availability for the SkyBet homepage and Sky Vegas homepage. Um, it's not a perfect metric, but it's, just, it's an important one. And it's sort of, there's so many moving parts. To achieve that is quite difficult. But this second metric makes it more difficult. So this is the number of changes or releases to the platform that we do on a weekly basis. So I think, you know, it's easy to, relatively easy to achieve stability if you never change anything, right? And it's relatively easy to change things quickly and lose your stability. So to get those two things together um, is, is quite an achievement. And especially to do it when you're scaling a business like this. So that, show, that chart there shows um, the number of bets on Grand National Weekend for the last six years there. So you can see a 12-fold increase, and you can see over the last three years in particular, a bit of a hockey stick where it's just grown more and more. So again, achieving stability whilst you've got velocity and getting new products out rapidly and you're scaling the business quickly. And not least is the people aspect of it. So this is the growth in the technology team headcount. So we moved to Leeds in 2010, had about 50 people in the tech team. We've now got over 500. And the point about that is uh, doing things in a sustainable way. That's what it's about. It's about thinking about the P 
people in a culture um, and making sure that we don't just have constant churn of people joining and rapidly leaving. And this really is what Tech Edge is all about. It's about how we balance those four things, stability, velocity, scaling, and people and culture. So looking at it another way, we've got four tracks today. You know, at the heart of it, we've got the people and culture track. So this is all about you know, how, we, how we think about our people. So people have, you know, certainly if I think about when 30 years ago when I started in technology, people got very, very different expectations to, from a career today. Uh, from what they had in those days. Um, it, it's recognizing that the, work, that the world is much more mobile, people are much more mobile, and it, we've got global competition. So it's about how do we, it's not just about having funky offices and chucking cash at people, it's about how we create a sustainable culture um, focused for me on the key sort of in, intrinsic motivators of autonomy, mastery, and purpose. So the second area is about software engineering. At the end of the day, that's what we're talking about here. You know, software is eating the world, it's going to continue eating the world. And it's about choosing, it's make, about making smart decisions on the tools, the frameworks, the program languages, design patterns that we use for that. Really importantly linked to that is about operations at scale. And this is, you know, this is recognizing certainly for me that, you know, it, again, if I think back to when I started, we had a dev team, we had an ops team, and we had a big glass wall data center sat in between them, and they hated each other. This is about, um, this is about you build it, you run it, sort of Amazon type culture uh, that modern tech teams um, are really embracing. So that's about recognizing things like, don't try and get perfect availability, make sure that you, can, that you know when things are broken, make sure that you can recover really quickly. You know, time to recover is often more important than time between failure. It's about getting really slick at how you manage incidents, your comms, your instant responses. And the final area is, the thing that wraps all that together, which is lean, agile delivery. So this is about, it's about things like minimum viable products. It's about, for me, this, this, we think about three, three areas when we talk about efficiency. It's like, yes, we want to build things quickly. That's important. But we also want to build things right, you know, so that they don't break and that we do it in the most sensible way. But most important of all, it's about building the right thing. There's nothing more pointless than quickly building something really well that nobody wants to use. So it's about how do we make sure we're building the right thing. So that's the four tracks. A quick look at the schedule today. We've got a fantastic lineup. Um, we're going to start off in a minute. We've got three keynotes on stage here. And then we're going to break out into um, individual tracks. So you're going to have to make some decisions about whether you stay here for software engineering or go up to the room upstairs through the stairs over there to hear about the people and culture track. Um, we've got plenty of breaks throughout the day, plenty of time for networking, refreshments available. And then in the afternoon, we've got a similar thing. So we've got the opposite scale track down here. And on the stage upstairs, we've got the uh, Lean Agile Delivery track. So without further ado, I'm going to introduce the first speaker. So this is Ian Massingham from Amazon Web Services. Uh, he's going to be talking about AWS. He's going to talk about Amazon and uh, the things that he's, he's been working on recently. So please join me in welcoming Ian to the stage. <laughs> 